This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British Ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note. I have to tell you now. This country is at war with Germany. My father asked me if I was truly ready to go to war. He told me that the good soldier kills without thinking of his enemy as a human being. In the moment he sees him as a fellow man, he's no longer a good soldier. And I was a good soldier. God help me. Each of us lie the seeds of an undefined greatness. We are the fathers of our own future. That future must be chosen, nurtured, guided. It must be driven with conviction. Lest our lesser nature has led it stray into shadow. Suffering is the same in every language. Bringen Sie uns näher ran! Vorsicht! Panzer! 12 Uhr! Formation halten! Feuer auf das Ziel eröffnen!
much. Technology moved faster than you could think how to use it. Yours, theirs, it didn't matter. This war would prove that from ocean bed to mountain top, the greatest killing machine is man. Attention, he's arrived. soldiers on the front. This time, the crosshairs found the workers on the assembly line. They found the commuters on the train. And they found the children in the schools. Infantry, volunteers, conscripts, them and us. It didn't matter where the danger came from. The threat of death unified everyone. Victory and staying alive.
man's unworthiest creation. What led it back to us? Does a hidden hand guide it? Birthing us in violence and blood. Ending us in fear, alone. Billy Bridger. It says on my pad here, criminal use of explosives, assault, attempted armed robbery, arson, attempted armed robbery. <laughs> did you try and rob the same bank three times? No. Oh, yes, you did. Because you're Billy Bridger. You are the son of big, bad, horrible Arthur Bridger. I'm all a fucking Bridger. Give me the fucking money. <laughs> now that's your dad, isn't it? So how comes he didn't get sent down with you then? Because I did all them jobs on your own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a little deal for you. I'm putting together a unit. You're gonna fucking love it. It's right up your street, your sort of thing. And it's got to be better than being in there. I'll be fine. What sort of unit? Tell me, Bridger. Do you like the seaside? Do you like the fucking seaside? 
right. Teams are two, move. I, I'm sick. I'm chucking me guts up over here. Oh. And you're just strolling off. Oh, Bridge, you're livening yourself up. Come on. There's a lovely little ice cream shop down there, and I'm treating you to a corner. Give me a sec, will ya? I can barely move without spilling over. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Tuck you in and get you your teddy? Now, come on, get moving. You still have the explosives on ya? Yeah. I modified them a bit and all. Right. You two, you know what to do! Careful with this one, Mason. Up and over! That's a Stuka incoming. Then the planes are meant to blow up. Yeah, yeah, that's them all right. Your head here. Last thing I need is you bleeding all over the place. Have you been here before? Do you know where we're going? Oh, yeah, I come here all the time. I bring the missus a lot sometimes. So that's a no, then, is it? You don't know where we're going. Listen. This job requires a certain amount of think on your feet. Do you understand? Right. Yeah. Right. Don't make me come over there and get you, son. Looks like lots of rubbish. Maybe an alarm? Yeah, probably a radio, too. Now it's going to be best to watch out for both, because we don't need more enemies showing up. Got some jerrys over here. See some barrels over there. Yeah. I don't want to get too near them if things get interesting. Maybe an airstrip off in the distance. The hangar there is most likely secured. So once you're down there, pull your finger out your ass and find a way inside. Are you sure about these bombs of yours? These safe pack of specials? I'll blow this place to pieces, mate. Don't you worry. What if I get caught, though? You're just gonna piss off and leave me, here? Huh? Get all the glory yourself. Glory? <laughs> there ain't no fucking glory, son. Now, listen to me. Carefully. I'm gonna put my bombs on those planes over there. And you are gonna put yours on them now. Yeah, right, right. Do not get caught. I'll be waiting for you at the meeting point. I'm on it. No time to waste, son. Down you go. Easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck this for a game of soldiers. You horrible bastard, Mason. I suppose knocking's out of the question. Well, looks like someone left a window open. That's the hangar, all right. That's what we're looking for.
place is not gonna believe the blast from this beauty. It's time to get out of here. Yeah, that's because my bombs went off. What about yours? Mine are gonna go up any second. What oh, is? Jesus Christ, Bridget, did you plant your bombs or not? Wait for it. I'm telling you now, these special explosives of yours, they better be really fucking special. Wait for it. Bridget. Any second now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Here we are. Up Fritz's shitter, and I ask you to do one thing. One fucking thing that you tell me that you're a big expert Can I just in. say No, you then. can't. Because what the fucking hell was that? I've occasionally had teething problems. Teething problems? Don't make me fucking laugh. I could have done that with a fucking light breeze, a speck of rain, or a tiny, teeny bird perched on that wing would have done more damage. Folks, let's see what you've got. Yeah, you're welcome. You're a fucking disaster. Me? You're the one who's gonna go himself shot full of holes, ain't you? Yeah, because of you, you tit. Listen, I was sitting pretty in prison, mate. I was not bothering nobody and not getting shot at you. You come along. This is your fucking fault. Listen to me! You took the fucking deal. You wanna start paying it off your end? Then you need to fucking liven yourself up, boy. Do you understand me? Halt! Miss idea! You're gonna have to do this next one on your own, all right? Just like you did all those banks, remember? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting done, no bother. You all right? Yeah, of course I am. Listen. Take this. This goes bang and everything. Right. I'll get down there, finish it up. Get you some help. I'm holding you to that deal. Yeah, just do the job and we'll see. I'm gonna have a little kip and this shit hole. Don't stand there staring at me. Move. Go. On my own, then. Three places to go. Need to knock out all the supplies here. Might have what old Mason needs in there. Those are the radar stations that need to be disabled. Let's get rid of all these lovely supplies, shall we? Need to knock out all the supplies here.
Hello? Father Bridget to HMS Sussex, can you hear me? Hello? We'll need an evacuation, so... You know... Just... Don't leave us behind. Good son, that's really good. I'm taking care of you. All right? It's all gonna be fine. Don't even raid out a boat to come and get us. You did what? I raid out a boat. No. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have just told every cunt of an iron cross exactly where we are. Useless. I fucking know that, don't I? I did a lot of respect for myself, all right? Yeah, well, no surprise there. I did it with me dad. He said I was useless just like you, and he fucked off and let me take the fall for it. No, listen to me, you're not. Like you're not useless. Why do you think that I recruited you for in the first fucking place? No idea. Because you're a trier. Like them banks you tried to rob. Even though you fucked up, you kept trying. And what good's that now? Then I come for a side, eh? This is war, son. We fight one battle and then we fight another one until it's done. What are you gonna do? Feel sorry for yourself and just fucking lay down and die? Or are you Billy Bridger, a trier? Yeah, I suppose. I can't hear you! Yes! I am. Oh, Billy fucking Bridger! Good boy, that's what I want to hear. Right, how about you join your old mate and we go and kill a load of sauerkraut munchers? Yes, please. <laughs> that infantry will be here any second. Now find some cover and I'll support you from up here.
What's your mind? Well, I'm going to say it, Bridger. Well done, son. Thanks. You know, yeah, them Greek islands are absolutely lovely this time of year. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm telling you. Oi, 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 oi. Ah, I got you. Now you're strolling off and leaving me. I'll come along then. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, beautiful beaches, sparkling white sand, and massive German fortifications for me and you to assault. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a little deal. A deal? I thought we already had a deal. <laughs> Jeg kan fortælle dig en hemmelighed. Jeg har alltid syntes at landet deres er vakkert og forstyrrende. Da kom jeg som barn fortalte de meg historier om skapninger og monster i skogen. Mine egne barn er fortsatt i Tyskland. Jeg savner familien min så veldig. Så nå er jeg her igjen. På jakt. Et av de monstrene i skogen. Hm. 
Vertreter Grassiden prüfte in Lieten britisch Kommandotropo und Führer Reit. Wähl bei den Techniker her. Angreifen liegt es icke. Die blöd rappt, aber ich fange nicht. Der. Wie weht, hat nur ein Ader hütte. Bara vertell mir, wem der er. Det finns utallige historier om skumle skapninger i de norske skogerleutnant. Men da du bør bekymre deg for, det finnes ikke der ute. Du har ikke vært der så lenge, har du? Vet du hva dette anlegget gjør? Hva det produserer? Jeg trenger ikke bry meg om slike detaljer. Jeg trenger å vite om det er flere soldater der ute. Du vet ikke, eller du vil ikke vite. Jeg anbefaler deg å snakke med meg. Om ikke, blir du sendt til Tyskland. Og der kan utspørringen være mye mer... ...ubehagelig. Vannet i dette anlegget er mye mer enn essensielt for krigsinnsatsen. Folket ditt skaper et monster her i denne bygningen, fatter du? Forut. Må være her i nærheten. Hva gjør du her? Fullt etter deg. Prøver å redde livet ditt. Det finnes viktigere ting. Det synes ikke jeg. Bli med hjem, Solveig. Vi kan ikke dra hjem. Tyskerne bygger noe forferdelig, men vi må finne ut hva det er. Jeg og du er nødt til å stoppe deg. Hva har skjedd? Skal de deg? Nei, vi har bare våget ikke. Jeg er for verdifull for han. Det kommer flere soldater. Vi må unngå dem. De burde bare dra.
Hvor skal vi? Jeg må finne noe viktig. Følg meg. Hvorfor det? Dette er ikke vårt ansvar. Vi må komme oss ut. Du skjønner deg fortsatt ikke. Vi må stoppe dem for å produsere mer tungt vann. Jeg tar meg av kontrollene her. Du må gå ut og stoppe sentral. Hva snakker du om? De store metallboksene utenpå. Ikke kast bort mer tid. Gå! Vi møtes på brua. Står du?
Jeg gjorde dette for deg. Jeg må dra. For din sikkerhet. Mamma. Ikke gå. Lad mig blive med. Vi må fortsætte at fremme det for dig. Som du kan se av de vedlagte dokumentene, er situasjonen enda verre enn vi trodde. Fabrikken produserer tungt vann, en nøkkelingrediens i en ny, forferdelig bomba som tyskerne utvikler. De transporterer det til Tyskland i morgen, og vi må stoppe dem. Når arbeidet deres er ferdig, vil de ha kraften til å viske ut hele byen. Men de kan ikke lykkes uten tungt vannet. Millioner av liv ligger nå i dine hender. Ta vare på dotter og meg, Solveig. Hun er yngre enn hun tror hun er, og hun er bedre enn hun aner. Livet hennes og livet til alle våre barn er avhengig av at vattnet aldri må tyskle. Ok, mamma. Du har lagt igjen instrukser, så jeg skal stoppe tyskerne fra å få tungt vannet. De henter tungt vannet fra lageret. Jeg må ødelegge alt som er der. Tyskerne har informasjon om motstandsbevegelsen på politistasjonen. Jeg må ødelegge det. Det må være bygda de har markert på planen. Jeg må finne politistasjonen. Det 
Det här. Jag måste ödelägga allt. Ok. Två igen.
Galderé. Des soldats français courageux, prêts à se sacrifier pour leur patrie. Ces hommes, c'était des héros. Mais ils n'étaient pas les seuls à combattre. Je vais vous raconter une histoire. Que vous ne connaissez pas. Ça, c'est pas possible. Si ils t'ont laissé t'engager, ça veut dire que ça va pas du tout d'être. <rire> ils m'ont demandé de venir repousser les Allemands parce que tu es trop faible et trop vieux pour ça, Idrissa. Regarde-toi. Alors tu es venu gagner la guerre tout seul, c'est ça <rire> Si ça peut te faire du bien, va dire à ta femme que tu as aidé, non Moi-même, j'ai une femme. Elle est trop jolie. Toi, tu as quoi On disait, nous sommes français. Nous sommes français. Mais une fois en France. Nous avons vu à quel point nous étions français. On va faire ça jusqu'à quand Jusqu'à ce qu'on ait fini. C'est tout C'est tout ce que l'on va faire Écoute, les choses ici sont... différentes. À ces temps, les Français lançaient tout ce qu'ils avaient vers un château occupé par des troupes allemandes. Et quand tout a échoué, notre jeune et ambitieux capitaine a décidé de nous porter volontaires pour s'emparer des canons anti-aériens allemands qui l'encerclent.
l'équipement était souvent de mauvaise qualité. Pas adapté. Fallait apprendre à improviser. Fouiller. Bricoler. Je me disais, allez d'aimer. Cherche. Trouve un moyen pour que ça marche. Ah, allez, on y va Né dans le ciel bleu. Ce pilote sera récompensé. Et nous, non. Mais on ne le sait pas encore. À ce moment-là, on avait juste envie de remercier cet inconnu et son courage. Laisse-le partir, petit frère. Idrissa, est-ce qu'on... Est-ce qu'on est qu a gagné Ils ont tous fui. Alors sauf s'ils ont changé les règles du jeu. Waouh, wow. on a gagné. On a gagné Cessez le feu On a gagné. On a gagné On les a eus On les a battus on a gagné On a gagné Surveillez les arbres là. Rassemblez les armes et les munitions. Idrissa, attends. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait maintenant Viens, on y va. Il faut qu'on continue là. Faut te reposer, petit frère. Tu es vivant. Peut-être ils nous donneront une médaille de... Mais il faudrait prendre ces canons pour recevoir une médaille. Démé, on n'a pas de commandant. On ne peut pas avancer sans soutien. Tu en es sûr Idrissa Tu es comme moi, allons Allons les combattre J'ai une famille, des enfants. Mais regardez-vous On a déjà fait mieux que les meilleurs soldats français. Alors je vous pose la question, de quoi d'autre sommes-nous capables Si on avance, et si on neutralise ces canons, les livres d'histoire parleront de nous de la reconnaissance, du respect pour nous, pour nos enfants. Alors on va prendre ce poste et leur montrer à tous qui nous sommes vraiment. Allons-y 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 Allons 
Eh bien, on peut dire qu'ils ont adoré mon discours. Alors, on a avancé. On s'est dispersé et déployé pour atteindre les canons le plus discrètement possible. À un moment donné, on a été séparé des forces principales. Je suis parti les chercher de mon côté pour qu'on aille attaquer la batterie principale. Il doit bien y avoir quelqu'un en vie, là. Le commandant ne veut pas que nous tirions les leurs gefangen. Nous devons faire anders. On s'est rendu On s'est rendu Mon Dieu Repose en paix, mon frère J'arrive trop tard. On peut jamais s'enlever cette pensée de l'esprit. Les Allemands ne pourront plus communiquer entre eux. sur une mer de sang. Et nous, on navigue sans rien voir à l'horizon. Regarde ça C'est ça que tu voulais, hein Je t'avais dit qu'on ne devait pas avancer sans soutien. Mais on a gagné. Les Allemands prennent la fuite. Ne vous approchez pas, espèce de Schweinung. On n'avait pas gagné. On n'a pas pas en retraite. Vous allez crever. Vous êtes cerné. On va contre-attaquer. Vous écrasez. Personne ne saura jamais que vous étiez là. On va mourir. Ma femme, mes enfants. On va mourir. Regarde ses yeux. Tu veux vraiment que ce soit lui qui gagne Il nous déteste parce qu'il pense qu'on est inférieur. Si on recule maintenant, tous ces hommes seront morts pour rien. Attends, attends. Il pense qu'on va rester là, ou bien battre en retraite. Le plus gros de leur force se trouve dans les bois, donc... Qu'il est le dernier endroit où ils s'attendent à nous voir. Je 
qu'elle n'arrive pas à battre ses fâches, Miag, ni même à s'approcher de leur QG. Et c'est toi qui vas prendre le château tout seul Imagine leur tête si on arrivait à se faufiler par l'arrière et qu'on le capture. Ce sera quelque chose à raconter à nos enfants, Idrissa. Surtout toi qui es très vieux maintenant. À leurs yeux, on passera pour des rois. Tiens, petit frère. Ça me plaît bien ce que tu dis là. Des émetteurs radio là-bas et des canons de campagne sur cette colline. Ça va être un sacré boulot de tout saboter. Démé, prends ce lance visé Tire avec pour nous dire d'attaquer. Ne tire que quand on doit passer à l'attaque. N'oublie pas, nos vies dépendent de ton jugement. C'est la guerre. Une grosse machine dégueulasse. Sans répit, sans pitié. Une fois dedans, il n'y a que deux solutions. La mort ou la survie.
Idrissa! Oh, mon Dieu! Idrissa! Regarde, Tidrissa. Nous sommes des rois. Nous sommes fiers de vous et de ce que vous avez accompli. Merci, mon commandant. Faisons une photo pour la postérité. Quand l'armée française a libéré Paris, ils ont retiré tous les soldats noirs. Ils les ont remplacés par des visages plus... familiers. Mais moi, je sais ce qu'on a fait. Et à quel prix. Et j'en suis fier. <rire>